Hi, a resounding Labour landslide. But apart from party hacks, activists, hardly anyone else is celebrating. One note of genuine satisfaction, so many Tory big beasts, or simply beasts, losing their seats. Liz Truss, Jacob rees Mar, Grant Shapp, Penny Morden. The results kept delivering. In cold, hard reality, what does this all mean? For starters, it's not much, not so much a changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace, more like a different shift of screws in the nick. One bunch of pig's snouts will be replaced by another in the trough. Already, the major ultra-rich and corporate donors are lining up, swiftly abandoning the Tories as a lost cause to fill Labour's coffers. Lobbyists are shifting from one party to another with consummate ease. And remember this, whatever, if any, idealistic intentions of those elected were, the moment they enter the corrupt portals of Parliament, they will vanish like the early morning mist. Any freshly minted MPs will become part of the unreformed and unreformable establishment. The electorate has simply swapped one collection of hate figures for another. And for the vast number of us, the only difference we will notice is the continuing deterioration of our circumstances and the struggles of our survival becoming more acute, unbearable and desperate, with despair, frustration, stalking the streets and haunting us as individuals and as part of us the submerged further the population, something we know instinctively, hence our refusal to add to our own degradation by voting. The unfixable cannot be altered by a fresh government. Things can only get worse to reverse the catchphrase of the last Blairite victory. Prepare for interesting times, because as it happens, we've just entered them. Bye.